Hello, you are welcome to Operation 4.0 GPA Tutorials. Today, I want us to tackle a question on national income identities with an open and then closed economy. So we have a question which says that demonstrate to show the investment savings identity for both closed and open economy. Mean that we have to show that in an open and closed economy, our investment equals what? Savings. The national investment, national savings equals investment. Okay, so we are dealing with the closed economy first. With a closed economy, we know that our aggregate expenditure equals what we consume plus what we save, consumption plus investment plus government expenditure. This is our expenditure, our aggregate expenditure. Also, we know that our national income, our income we either consume, we save or pay taxes in it. So these are the two identities for aggregate expenditure and then national income. We know that at equilibrium, our aggregate expenditure equals our national income. Our, our national income equals aggregate expenditure. So we equate these two identities. We have our C plus S plus T equals aggregate expenditure C plus I plus G. Grouping them, we have C here. Another C plus our S here plus our T and then minus our G should be equal to investment. So we've separated it, we've put investment aside. Now this C minus C will go off. We will have our savings plus tax minus government expenditure equals investment. Now we know that government's revenue comes through taxes. And their expenditure goes through what government expenditure. So the difference between the tax and the government expenditure will give us the national, will give us government savings. Give us government savings. And then the S here is for the private savings. So we have private savings plus. The government savings, the difference between the tax, their revenue, and then their expenditure, being equal to what? Investment. So, that is how it is when we are using the identities for closed economy. Now, we are going to do the same for open economy. So, in the open economy, to our aggregate expenditure now includes exports and imports we have we add export we subtract imports and then our national income is the same we consume we save or we pay taxes so at equilibrium we have our national income equals aggregate expenditure we have c plus s plus t being equal to c plus i plus G plus X minus N. Grouping them, we have C minus C plus this S plus T being equal to now let's bring more here minus G so we have our C here we have our G here minus X plus M equals investment. So we are now going to do with this to show whether our national savings equals investment. So at least our consumptions will cancel off. We will have our savings, private savings, plus this being the government savings, T minus G, plus our M minus X being equal to investment this is the private savings this is government savings and this is the rest of the world's savings our import minus export so national savings this is what i wrote there equals our uh, investment what this means is that any time we save our money 
we are investing them. When you put it in the bank, in the, at the bank, banks don't just keep them, they invest them. So no matter how it is, our investment equals our national savings. So this is how to prove, with, to prove it using the identities. Don't forget to subscribe and also we need your comments through our mail and then our, our WhatsApp numbers. Thank you for watching.